So this video is on constructing a line perpendicular to an already given line that's passing through a point P that is not on my line. So we're going to use our straight edge and compass to complete this geometric construction. The first step that you want to go through is using your compass tool. You're going to place the point of your compass on point P and you're going to sweep an arc uh, using your compass that will intersect the given line twice. Right now, if I sweep an arc, I'm not going to intersect at all. So I want to expand my compass to a point where when I would sweep this arc, it would intersect twice. It's helpful when the points are pretty far from each other. So I'm going to stretch it a little bit further, and I have one and two intersections here. So here's my sweeping arc. It's going to intersect twice. So after step one here, we're then going to place the compass point where the arc crossed the line on one side. So I'm looking at one intersection of the arc and line, and I'm going to place my point of my compass there. I'm going to then go ahead and, if point P is right here, I want to draw an arc that is below, I want to draw an arc that is below point P on this side of the line. I want to draw an arc down here. And I'm going to do that to both sides. So the first step is going to draw this arc. Just to make sure that's big enough, I'm going to make it nice and big sweep there. And then I'm going to move the point without changing the span, that's very important, without changing the span of my compass, I'm going to move the point to the other intersection right here. And I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing, making sure that the two new arcs that I created, they intersect with each other. Now, with your straight edge, you should be able to draw a line from point P passing through the intersection of the two smaller arcs that we just created. So I'm going to take my straight edge here, and I might want to put one end right here and then rotate it. Rotate it up to the other point. So it's going to take a little bit of moving around, but once I get it situated, I should be good to go. And it's not going to be perfect, that's okay. So here I'm going to go ahead and sketch my line. Let's do that again one more time just to make sure we get it straight. So now that I drew my line passing through the points of the intersection, as well as through point P, we can now state that this given line is now perpendicular to this line, is perpendicular to the given line passing through point P, which means they form a right angle at where they cross. So these two lines are now perpendicular to each other. 